Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to present to you in this video my most precious possession, my common place book. This is the ultimate notebook and I guarantee you that it's going to absolutely change the way that you learn. So a few years back, I came across this life-changing article um, that was called How and Why I Keep a Commonplace Book. So as the article defines it, a commonplace book is just a repository of ideas. So you basically read a book and then you find some interesting ideas in the book and you write the most interesting and appealing ideas of the book into a notebook that you can access later. So Ryan Holiday has a very particular way of writing his commonplace book and i think it's very interesting he uses flashcards on a box i actually don't use that at all i don't even use this actual notebook i think that this is just visual aid and you know it's a very pretty notebook that i actually did use as my commonplace book for a while but i don't use this anymore now i use word so the reason why i am talking about this and the relevance it has for my channel and i think that the relevance that it has for you as my audience is that you can use the commonplace book to become more knowledgeable about the culture of your target language and I think that this is the thing that is probably going to help you glimpse um, a culture the best and become as knowledgeable as you possibly can and it's something that I find incredibly fun to make so um, I want to hop on the computer so that I can show you my different commonplace books I don't only have one I have several for different things you know like for different genres like animals and politics and whatever it is so you will be able to see that on the screen but i want to concentrate on culture just because this is a language channel so let's hop on the computer so in terms of the commonplace book this is what it looks like um so as you can see i have different documents and they are organized by an overarching theme so obviously like they are separated from each other and i just have information about different topics that particularly interest me so art history music videos countries whatever it is and um if i click on a document so i'm going to click on countries just because i think that that is the most relevant thing for you guys in order to learn about more cultures so from this document you can see see that I have the entire document organized by alphabetical order so whenever I get information about a particular country like for example France I put it in the F section and this was super easy to create you know like you can look up information how to index a word document but basically I just organize it by alphabetical order I do have a different uh, way I organize other commonplace books and I'm going to show you that a little bit later but I just want to concentrate on this particular commonplace book for a little bit so in terms of this common place book um, you can see that for example I have Honduras here right so um, the reason why I um, looked up or uh, have information about Honduras is because I really like following this channel called geography now and they make videos on different countries so just basically transcribed the information from the video into this particular document now after I saw the video after I watched the entirety of the video I was very struck by something that's called like the rain of fish that happens in this small village where fish fall from the sky so that was something that really interested me and I looked more information on that topic on google and i copy pasted some pictures just to have that in the commonplace book and i also look for more imp information in terms of why that ph phenomenon was something that occurred in honduras right so you can have an overarching theme in, t in terms of the countries then a sub theme in terms of like the countries that you have like for example honduras and then look for different sources of information and gather the most interesting information that you have and put it in your commonplace book now i want to show you a different approach that you can have to culture i think that this relates as well just because i think that i have learned a lot in terms of these other type of commonplace book what i'm talking about is a more particular view of what a culture is right like you know culture is basically this iceberg that i'm gonna put here and you can concentrate on different facets of that aspect like for example food or music or art or whatever it is so for a big chunk of my life i studied u.s history and something that called my attention a lot about u.s history was the space race so i started looking information up about the space program and the way that i organized 
recognize the space commonplace book is not by alphabetical order but by year just because it makes more sense to have a timeline of events rather than to organize events in history by alphabetical orders and that is obviously a way that i've been able to learn more about the u.s learn more about a very particular facet of the u.s and i know that it, that is very small you know like the space race in terms of u.s culture is something that is teeny tiny and probably not a topic that is going to come out in converse in a lot of conversations if you talk to an american but it is something that personally interests me and it has motivated me to learn more about u.s history and kind of like other events that spring from that particular nasa programs so guys i hope that you like my commonplace books i hope that you found them entertaining or informative or helpful in any way shape or form so that you can learn about different cultures in the most organized most fun way possible um, it certainly has helped me and um, i just wanted to show that to you because i think that is an incredible incredibly powerful organizational tool and finally, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including productivity, language learning, time management, personal development, and more. As a live learner myself, I am always trying to hone my productivity skills. So I recently started a course by YouTuber and podcaster Thomas Frank called How to Build Habits That Last. One of the main takeaways I had from this course was to limit my goal list. I am definitely the kind of person that wants to pursue 10 goals at a time. But as Thomas Frank said in his class, it takes time and deep concentration to make genuine progress in the things I want to pursue. So having a myriad goals does have the negative impact of affecting the depth at which I can pursue something. So head on to Skillshare to get access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity.